At the Interop Summit in 2023, Axelar introduced the concept of interchain tokens, or tokens that can exist on many blockchains simultaneously. Today, I'm going to walk you through what it feels like to create an interchain token from a developer perspective and how you can actually interact with that token across multiple blockchains. Let's go ahead and dive in. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna show you a really, really simple ERC20 token that we're gonna create here right on the fly. So I'm in Remix, I'm using the Open Zeppelin ERC20 contract, and I'm just minting a few tokens to make life and demoing a little bit easier. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna be using the Avalanche Fuji chain for testnet for all of these demos here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just deploy this contract. So it's a really, really simple contract and we're gonna hit the deploy button. That's going to trigger a on-chain transaction to create that smart contract. So we're creating a brand new interchain token. This is, could be any ERC20 that you already have on any blockchain, or you can create one from scratch. And now once we have that address, all we're going to do is we're going to take that address, copy it over into the interchain token portal that Axlar has. So this is uh, services.axlar.dev. You can find the interchain token portal here, and we can go ahead and connect a wallet. And what I'll do is I will paste in our new... Uh, token address. And so what we're going to see is this is not registered. It doesn't exist on any other chains. And so we're going to go ahead and hit this register button. And what that will do is that will detect the token that we created. This is the origin token on Avalanche. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and say yes next. And now we have the important choice. What chains do we want our token to be available on? So just for demoing, I'm just going to put it on maybe Polygon and Moonbeam for now. And so we'll go ahead and hit register. What this is going to do is this is going to create an on-chain transaction on the Avalanche chain. And then that transaction will actually use Axelar's general message passing or GMP in order to send messages out to Polygon and Moonbase in order to create this interchain token. And so uh, we won't actually wait for this because uh, that will we'll have to wait for the full message passing to each of those chains in order for it to show up. Uh, but what I want to do in the meantime while we wait for that is I actually want to show you what the interchain token linker actually looks like and talk about how we might interact with that uh, actual token that we've created. Uh, because the core thing that you want to do once you've created an interchain token is send balances uh, between different blockchains, which is kind of the magic here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this on Snowtrace for testnet. Um, so we can see this is the address of our interchain token linker. This is the same address that you're going to see on basically every blockchain that we deploy to. And we're going to need to do a couple things. So uh, the main method we're going to want to use here is going to be send token. And that's going to take uh, the payable amount that you need to use to pay for that bridging, the token ID, the destination chain, destination address, and amount that you actually want to send. But before we can actually use the token linker, we're going to need to approve that amount. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to dive over into the Remix interface for our token that we created. And I am going to approve to the token linker. And let's go ahead and allow uh, it to send five units of the token that we just created. So uh, this token has 18 decimals. So we're going to say five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We'll go ahead and copy this. So we're approving the token linker to spend five units of our token. So we'll go ahead and transact that. That'll be another on-chain transaction on the Fuji testnet here. We'll approve that. Uh, and as soon as that is approved, we can actually now go into Snowtrace and we will go ahead and send this token. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna send uh, 0.2, so we need to pay for that uh, bridging here. We'll paste in the amount that we're sending. Uh, and let's go ahead and say that we're gonna send to Polygon, which is one of the chains that we chose. And we'll use uh, my current address, so we'll just send it to ourselves here. And what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and copy the token ID for the token that we were creating here. So that uniquely identifies the token across all the different blockchains where sometimes you might have a different address. For example, the origin address is going to be a little bit different than the destination addresses you're going to see on other chains. All right, so we can see our token is now deployed on Polygon, so we should be able to send this. So let's go ahead and write that transaction to the blockchain where we're going to need to connect to Web3 and Snowtrace so that it's able to initiate these transactions. Uh, sometimes you have to click it twice, just FYI. And we should be able to now write this to the blockchain, pay for that transaction. And now we can actually view that transaction. We can both view it on uh, Snowtrace, which should show up here in a moment. Um, but then I can also go ahead and jump over onto Axler Scan. And what Axler Scan will let us do is paste in this transaction ID and see the entire process and the entire path that that transaction is going to take all the way from the source chain through the Axler network 
to the destination chain. So you can see the contract call here, we can see originated on Avalanche, and it's gonna end up on Polygon. Um, and so you're gonna go through all those stages. And then effectively what you've done is you've now created this interchain token where we took an ERC20 that already existed, uh, or you can, as you saw here, we can create a brand new one, register it as an interchain token, and then start getting those superpowers of being able to move those tokens between any blockchain you want through dApps that you're building. That is going to be it for this demo today. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.